Hi, I'm Scott, and thanks for tuning in to my latest video blog. Today I'd like to cover off a couple of things, the, the main one being the new restrictions from the Reserve Bank. Uh, they've been getting a lot of headlines lately uh, regarding their, uh, their requirements that uh, banks don't lend too much money to people who, are, uh, are, uh, who don't have huge deposits, let's say. Okay, so that's the LVR uh, restrictions, loan to value. Uh, ratio is what LVR stands for. So um, just before we come to that, the current market uh, in the last 12 months we've seen 25% growth uh, year on year in, um, in sale prices. Uh, in the Greenfield area currently we're selling around 40-50% to 50 above the GV of a property on average. Um, that varies of course house to house but you can get some sort of idea of uh, what the market's doing from that. And, uh, and, and certainly 25% is, is a big gain and that uh, has been widely publicised due to a lack of listings, a shortage of uh, new homes being built and uh, lots of immigrants coming into the country or at least into Auckland and pushing those prices up. So uh, what is uh, the LVR? It is, um, it's the amount the banks will lend uh, to a buyer uh, or a borrower as a ratio of the value of that property. Uh, which basically means that if you don't have 20% deposit, the banks will find it hard to give you a loan. Uh, they are still allowed to lend to some people, but uh, the overall uh, amount of lending that they are doing um, in that basket uh, has been severely reduced. Um, so, that being said, um, how much impact will that have on the market? Well, uh, I was disappointed to see a, a Herald article on the front page uh, saying the other day that they phoned one agency, Glover Realty in West Auckland, uh, with all due respect to them, they're a boutique agency and they rang one office and apparently their phone only rang once on Sunday instead of the usual 12 times uh, and that was enough for the, for the Herald to publish an article saying that these restrictions are biting the market already. Well, um, I think they also failed to mention that it was school holidays had started and there was an All Blacks match on against Argentina in the middle of the day. So. Uh, I'd rather the media dealt with fact and uh, rather than spook people um, that uh, we actually ha have a look at really what's happening and, and adopt more of a wait and see approach rather than the, uh, the sort of the speculation that sells tabloid newspapers. Uh, so is it, is it hype or will it have an effect? Well I can tell you that I've had buyers through my open homes uh, in the last couple of weeks that have said that they aren't affected, however they will adopt a wait and see approach over the next month or two and that their urgency to buy has dropped off because they see themselves in a good position uh, and uh, might try and wait to see if the market drops uh, from there. Now what I would say with those people is um, that, that that's a risk to wait and see uh, because they're effectively trying to um, play the market as it were. Uh, now the market may drop and good on them for waiting, or it may not, uh, it may carry on. Uh, with the 25% growth in the last 12 months, it would be hard to imagine that all of a sudden prices will fall away. Uh, so perhaps they may not increase at the same rate, and um, it would be foolish to say that this restrictions in lending won't have an effect, because they certainly will. Uh, it's it's um, at all different uh, levels, if, if the tightening is made at one end, it will flow through to the other end of course, uh, but maybe we won't see 25% growth, but maybe we will see, still see 5-10 or 15% growth. So uh, for some people to, to uh, hold off from buying, um, I'd advise them against that. In fact, my whole philosophy when uh, working in real estate is always about what is your goal? If your goal is to sell your house and buy a bigger house, uh, or to, ch to move areas for school zones, then you've actually got a bigger goal than worrying about what the market's doing. Uh, if your goal is to sell your bigger house and retire, or perhaps you want to improve your investment portfolio, well I would say don't try and play the market, rather consider what your goals are and try and achieve those. So uh, in that case, um, it, it's quite hard to, to pick the bottom of the market, in fact you don't know if you've reached the bottom, you don't know that you've reached the bottom until it's already on its way back up, in which case you missed it. And you don't know when a market is at the top until it's already on the way back down. So I would say rather than holding off and speculating, just do whatever it is that you want to do as a person and achieve those goals. Uh, that would be my, uh, my opinion. Um, so one other thing that could come out of this is that if 
people can't buy uh, that thought they might otherwise have been able to uh, buy as a first home. Um, there are several ways around that. At our sales meeting yesterday morning, we had a, a mortgage manager from a, a local big bank come and speak to us, and they produced a sheet which they handed around and distributed and said, look, there are ways around it that we're willing to help people with, whether it's a gift from someone, whether it's a, um, a co-borrowing, whether there's a guarantee in there, uh, or, or some other sort of long-term loan uh, that they can sort of assess. Now, they've got their ways around it, but if someone doesn't have a way to find a deposit like that, uh, they've mentioned that perhaps they need to go back and save a bit more, which I thought was a little... Um, it's difficult for people to save at the moment and keep up with the market uh, and hope to buy one day. So that wouldn't necessarily be my recommendation that you just go and sit back and save. Uh, but if those people can't buy, then they have to rent. So could we actually start to see an increase in rents as competition for rentals picks up over the next few months to a year? Uh, and maybe we're gonna see a rebalancing of the market in some respects. Um, if For those of you who watched my last video blog on the disparity between rental incomes and and sale price increases, um, that might be something of interest for you. Uh, so there you have it right now. Um, we've experienced a lot of strong growth. The media are now putting a lot of uh, energy into hyping up this and uh, it may well have an effect, partly if only because of the media and the hype and people adopting wait and see attitudes. Uh, so if you've got any uh, evidence yourself, um, I only have anecdotal evidence. I talk to other agents, I, I know how many people are coming through open homes and I can see the, uh, the energy in the auction rooms. So uh, if you've got anything extra to that, I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, uh, we'll, we'll wait a couple of months, get some solid evidence and see uh, how it's all panning out. Thanks for watching.